All electrical work must be done by a qualified electrician. DC power supply fault. A DC power supply fault does not mean that your power supply is bad. It usually means there is a short in the 24 volt circuit. First, you will need to locate the 24 volt DC power supply in question. For this example, the 24 volt DC power supply for the stationary end will be the power supply we use. It will be the same procedure for the traveling end DC power supply. Now locate the two fuse holders that protect the power supply. In the same row to the right of the fuse holders, you will see the 24 volt DC control relay. The relay has a red light in the middle of it. The red light will be off if there is a power supply fault. Pull out one of the fuses. Either one will work for this example. With your voltmeter set on DC volts, take a reading at the bottom of the power supply. And if you have 24 volts, the power supply is good. This means you have a short somewhere in the 24 volt DC circuit. If your meter does not register 24 volts, change it to the AC setting and measure at the top of the DC power supply. If it reads 120 volts, then the power supply is bad and will need to be replaced. To order the replacement power supply, contact the MyTech Customer Service Department at 1-800-523-3380. Reinsert the fuse that you took out to check for the 24 volts. Now locate the stacked row of terminal blocks where the PROC switch cables land in the panel. There are four wires in each cable, so there are four rows of wires. The front wire is black. It is the signal wire back from the PROC switch. The color of the wire behind the black is either brown, which is the positive wire, or blue, which is the negative wire. The color of the wire does not make a difference because we will remove one wire at a time from the terminal block. At this time, do not worry about the clear colored wire. Now whatever the color wire is behind the black wire, remove it from the terminal block. Look to see if the red light on the DC control relay has lit up. If it has, you just found the bad proc switch or the bad proc switch cable. Try replacing the proc switch first because it is easier and faster. If the red light did not come on, reinsert the wire you removed and then remove the one next to it and check to see if the red light is lit. Repeat this process with all of the wires. If you go through all of the wires for the proc switches and the red light does not come on the DC control relay, then you will need to check the encoders that use the power supply on the end with the fault. Start disconnecting the yellow power cables on the encoders one at a time. Each time you disconnect a yellow power cable, check to see if the red light has lit up on the DC control relay. If the red light comes on, you have found the bad encoder. You will need to replace the power cable, the power T the cable plugs into, or the bad encoder. If this did not fix the problem, call the MyTech Customer Service Department at 1-800-523-3380.